Sup for the beef and meat, indeed. It's the other Bond fiend, bro, a.k.a. Gabriel, a.k.a. Maratinha, and he's taking on Nicholas Dalby, the Danish dynamite in this one, who, even though he is 38 years old, pushing 39 here in a couple weeks, he is kind of peaking. I mean, Dalby has been looking arguably the best he ever has throughout his UFC tenure, where he's gone 6-3-2 and two in two separate stints in the UFC, and that's contributed to his 22-4-1 and one overall record, but... He's a plus 425 dog in this one, despite having won three straight. He beat Claudio Silva, fellow Brazilian. He took out Warley Alves, another one by a split decision, and most recently took out Muslim Salikov and Kung Fu Panda. So some pretty good stuff from Dobby most recently, and the guy really only has lo one loss in his last 12 fights and a couple no contests in there, but nonetheless, only one L. So for me, I was a little bit surprised. I mean, obviously, Gabriel Bonfim, 15-0, all the rage, 2-0 in the UFC, but I was still a little bit surprised by the plus 425 tag for Dalby and the minus 575 tag for Bonfim, and I guess it makes sense. I mean, his early and often wins in the UFC have been pretty dominant. I mean, he's a guy who got a first-round Von Flu choke in Dana White's Contender Series, and in both of his subsequent UFC fights afterwards, two first-round finishes as well, mounted guillotine over Manir Luzez, that took less than a minute, and he took out Trevin Giles in just over a minute with a guillotine. So this is a guy with a gnarly array of submission skills, and he might need those against a guy in Dalby who is pretty well-rounded. I mean, he's always out there huffing and puffing. It seems like he's gassed, but Dalby is never really out of a fight and can really win win fights in a lot of different creative methods. So in this one, Meat Boy, are you taking minus 575 Gabriel Bonfim is he the lock of all locks, or does Dobby have some life, and because of the price tag for Gabriel, he might be staying away? Who are you taking? Yeah, th th this is a great fight. Um, definitely a levels test. Uh, you know, Dobby's no joke. I mean, being a plus 400 is pretty disrespectful, in my opinion, but it must be his age of 38. Um, but, you know, he's on a three-fight win streak, looking pretty good. You know, fighting out of Denmark. Um... You know, I don't know if he's going to leave his mark on this fight because most likely Gabriel Bonfim is going to knock out Dalby. Um, I think he finishes him first, second round, early and often. 26-year-old is clearly a prodigy from Brazil. Um, and being that heavy favorite, I mean, you just can't really go against Kid. Um, he's been looking great, undefeated. I just don't see Dalby being that one guy that takes his L. Um, unlike Benoit, who took his brother's L, which makes sense it's Benoit Dalby is not Benoit so this will be a fun fight though but I think uh, bon, uh, Bonfim is going to maul from beginning to end yeah I was going to ask you do you think that he'll be able to be the first one to finish Dalby in the UFC because I mean if you look at his double digit UFC career he does have a couple losses but they're all decisions right Zach Cummings decision uh, Sabata decision Peter Soli lost a split and then Tim Means decision in 2021 and Again, that was his last loss. So are you pretty bullish on the Bond theme finish? And if so, are you going KO? Because I'm scoping typology. 95% is roll with Bond theme. 5% going with the uh, Danish Dynamite. But there's a lot of copper for that Bond theme sub. So they tend to think that he's just going to submit another guy like he's been doing to all of the guys the UFC feeds him thus far. So are you taking Bond theme by sub or do you think that there's some KO left? You know, KO is definitely possible. I mean, if you look at his most recent fights, you know, it's basically all submissions, all rear naked chokes, guillotine chokes, but 2021, KO, not a TKO, KO, 2018, KO. So it's definitely possible, but it seems to be, uh, you know, less likely just because this guy is clearly a submission master. 12 submissions, 3 KOs, 0 decisions. I can promise you one thing. This ain't going the distance. Um, Nicholas Dalby is not that guy. Either He might get a lucky meat bomb and knock out Bonfim, but I just don't think this goes decision and uh, Dalby survives. I think Bonfim is really a prodigy for the 170 division, and he's going to demolish and most likely submit, but maybe a TKO ground and pound. I don't know. It, it wouldn't surprise me, and those odds might be so juicy, it might be worth taking a look. Yeah, for sure, and admittedly, I've been a little bit late to the Bond theme party, but his most recent win over Trevin Giles uh, definitely did solidify the hype for me because he looked pretty good, and 
while Trevin Giles isn't necessarily the best fighter in the division, the way he was able to just walk through him, light, easy work, uh, definitely highlights the talent that this 26-year-old is bringing for sure. But I'm actually going to clench it up, Meat Boy. I think that there's a chance Dolby can survive the one and a half, maybe even survive over two and a half. And I think that there is life for Dolby uh, just to make it that far. I, I, I Just historically, he's been a very difficult to got, guy to finish. I mean, no one in the UFC has done so thus far. So if Bonfim is able to get another patented early one-minute finish over a guy like Dolby, then perhaps this guy is future champ material. But I'm going to clinch it up. I'm going to say that he survives a little bit longer than people think. But ultimately, I'm with you. I'm going to take Bonfim, but definitely not touching that minus 550 spot because that, to me, seems a little dangerous given how talented Dolby is of a fighter. But he should get this one done, and uh, it should be a uh, welcome opportunity for him. And hopefully him and his brother both pick up some Ws because... They're fat favorites against winnable 40-year-old fighters. So, got to imagine the UFC is feeding him a bone in this one. So, I'm with the meat boy taking bomb theme, third-round finish. Any last thoughts? No. Um, wouldn't surprise me either way. This would be a great fight. Fun fight, nonetheless. Don't in the comments who you take it and why. Smash that me subscribe. What are y'all doing?